Welcome to the International Solar Tool Workshop. My name is Larry Taylor and I am the tool man, or as I'm getting to be known now, the solar tool man. For the last two years I've worked at Harbor Freight and I've shown thousands of people the solar panel package, where you get the solar panels, the regulator, and what inverter to use. I've had thousands of people ask me questions, what size inverter, how does it work? Well, this is a workshop that's going to show you how to get it all done. I built the deck, I built the two workshops, I built the mobility power station, and I've got the solar panels mounted on a Lazy Susan. I've had people from Africa and Australia and Mexico wanting to use solar to run their irrigation pumps, or how do they run their power tools or lighting in disaster relief areas. But all the answers are going to come together if we're going to have workshops. So welcome to the first solar workshop, and let's go have some fun. Right now the battery is charged up to 13.5. When you get a new battery, it should be at 12.8. If it's not, take it back and get another one. The solar panels will charge it up to 14.2. At 14.2 it will drop it back down to 12.8. Now notice we have a little button right here next to the switch and a lot of people think, oh, it doesn't work anymore because it goes dark. No, what happened is you accidentally bumped that button. It's showing us we have 13.5 volts because we are hooked into a battery. We have two plugs here. That's for these 5 watt light bulbs, which will light up this shed with no problem. You have a 9 volt, a 6 volt, a 3 volt, a 5 volt, and your conventional 12 volt cigarette lighter button. Okay? Over here we have the inverter. So the solar panels come into the back of the regulator. The regulator goes down and into a battery. It's a deep cycle 12 volt battery, and I'll show you how to build this box. From the battery, it goes back up to the inverter. The inverter that I've chosen is a 2,000, 4,000 watt inverter. And the reason why is when you run the big boys, these are 15 amps. And the formula to remember is it's amps times volts is watts. So if this pulls 15 amps under load at 120 volts, everything plugs in at 120, that's 1,800 watts. So this 2,000 to 4,000 inverter will run it or any of the other tools that I'm going to show you. I can completely run both of these workshops off of one battery and one inverter. A tool that I have found that is excellent to have along with it is called a power usage meter and it's put out by Ryobi. You can get it at Home Depot. It's only like 25 bucks. But what's key about this is I'm going to plug a surge protector in off of this and into my inverter and it's going to show me the amps, the watts, how much money a day, a week, a month, and a year you're actually saving because we're not going to be spending money. So I'm going to plug this into the inverter this inverter has two plugs in it, so by using one and running it over here as a surge protector, which I will power up in just a second, I have eight plugs now that I can run instead of just the two. They're all protected because the surge protector will trip before the inverter will, okay? So we're ready to go hot. Three, two, one. It's going to take one-tenth of one volt to turn the inverter on. The inverter has three fans in it. It has one in the back and two on the bottom. That's why I've got it cushioned out an inch from the wall so it doesn't get hot. Keep in mind it does get 100 degrees here in Nevada and we're up and running. It doesn't show any watts on the usage meter because we're not pulling anything yet. Our surge protector is on. At the same time I'm going to run power tools with cords. I'm going to charge up battery tools or charge batteries. That's key because sometimes you run into projects where you need to run a battery tool instead of running an electric tool. So I'm going to turn the fan on here, get a little air going in here. And right now I just dropped it down to 13.2. I'm running a fan. In the future I'm going to show you how I can run a 5,000 BT unit air conditioner just with one battery and the inverter and turn this room into an ice box. So right now we're pulling 46 watts. The amount of money we're spending a day, a week, a month, and a year is $7.20 just to run that little fan for a year. But now the real test comes in. I got my portable tools that I use that I'm charging my batteries for. But what you all really want to know is can I run the big toys? Can I run the compressor? Can I run the big guns? So here we go. 15 amps, 1800 watts. We're at 13.1 right now. Safety first. 
put on the glasses, and we're going to fire it up. When it initially fires, it's called the surge, and that's when it's going to hit its peak. You're going to see up here, this is going to drop tremendously, and it'll go back up, and the sun will start charging it back up. Again, the solar panels are super trickle chargers for your batteries. Knocked it down to 12.7, already it's back up to 12.8. You have to keep in mind when you're using power tools, it's what we call intermittent use. Intermittent use means that it's temporary, unless we get into running sanders and planers and things like that. But a sander has less amperage than a big tool like this. You're not running a big tool for a long period of time. Right now it's already back up to 12.9. So it knocked it down from, and it's already back up to 13. So, as you can see, it went from 13.1 down. Let's do it again. We're building this deck. We're building this workshop. We'll show you how to do it all. Again, intermittent use. I used it again. It knocked it down to 12.5, 12.7, 12.8. It'll go back up to 13.1. The amount of money that we spent is for the year $8, $87. So to keep this fan running on high, Keep that light bulb because my uh, videographer here needed a little more light inside the, the workshop. And to run this chop saw, we just saved $86.87 by using solar. And we're already back up to 12.9. What we're going to do is we're going to go outside on the deck. And I'm going to show you where I have a little bit more room to work. My videographer's got a little more room to work. We'll show you how with the Harbor Freight tool panel, solar panels, the regulator, and the inverter. You can truly have your own power at no cost. We're going to go out on the deck. I'm going to plug in a 25 foot surge cord to go out there to run some tools. You can see we're charged up to 12.9 on the regulator. And we're going to go out here now and run some, uh, some big toys. We've got a compressor here. This is only a two gallon compressor. We're going to run a stapler and a nail gun. It has two gauges on it. One gauge will show you how many PSI is in the tank, what the bottle is charging up to. This one has a maximum PSI of 100. The dial on the right will tell you, by going plus, you can dial it up to how many pounds per square inch you're using. That's what PSI stands for. As I go plus and I get it up, then it'll get up to 90, and then that's when we start using the guns. It takes four and a half gallons to run a texture gun, or it takes more PSI or a bigger tank to run other tools. We'll get into that in another workshop. Yes, it's running off the solar. It knocked it down from 12.9 to 12.3. I've got another camera running on it. The tank right now is up to 80. When it gets up to 90, we're going to shoot it. When the bottle is fully charged, it'll get quiet and the motor will stop running. We're going to run a multi-tool. This is the new one that you see now. You can cut wood, you can cut metal, you can cut drywall, depending upon what blade you have on it. We're going to run this sander, and we're going to run a drill. We're going to run them all at the same time, and we're going to run them on solar. So, to show you our stapler is working, there we go. There's one, two, three, four. Five. I'm going to change this over to a nailer now. And what I'm going to do is shoot it into the table so you can actually see it come through the bottom of the table. Are we ready? There it is. Sometimes if you don't push down hard enough, the nipple doesn't engage. Okay? The bottle gets up to 100, it'll get quieter. Knock it down to 12.4. We're going to turn on a sander. Turn on the oscillator. It's a plunging tool. I'm going to leave this running, only because I got two hands. I'm 
This is some hard OSB boards. This is still running. Compressor is still charging. It's up to 100, it's about ready to shut down. Meanwhile, we're charging batteries to run our battery tools. For when we need them. And there is a multitude of battery tools that you can run. Yes, even my favorite. Ah, 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 the chainsaw. And that's it. Let's see what the battery says inside. Compressor's still running. It just kicked off. It was at 12.3. As soon as it kicked off, it went back up to 12.6. Now it's up to 12.7. And as you'll see, it'll climb back up. So even though we were running all these different things, which you're not going to run all at the same time, mind you. You might run one or the other, but as you saw, I only had two hands. The regulator will continue to climb charging our battery all the way up to 14.2. So welcome to our first workshop and I hope you come back and see how we're not only going to run just power tools but we're going to show you how to run appliances. Speaking of appliances, this is my shop vacuum that I use. It's got a blower on one end or a vacuum on the other. These are also sold at Harbor Freight. Beautiful little tool. I blow my deck off with it or I clean up my mess. So let's see if this thing can handle it too. Knock it down to 11.8, 11.9. Got to keep my shed clean. I'm going to hook it up to the back of the saw. I just haven't got everything hooked up yet. We're getting dialed in because we're going to start filming more workshops for you. See how fast it's climbing back up? Intermittent use, that's what solar and work tools is all about. When you get into the big appliances, refrigerators and air conditioners, well, that's what I'm going to show you next. Because you can run a 5,000 BTU air conditioner off of one battery, this regulator and this inverter, and turn this room into an ice box, as I'll show you, because I'll have a temperature gun to show you what temperature it's putting out. So if you like the workshops and you'd like to learn more about solar and you'd like to learn more, go to harborfreight.com. Ask for the Solar Tool Man. That's me, Larry Taylor, the Solar Tool Man. Thanks for stopping by.